And I think we've all learned over the last decade <laughs> to temper our hype levels a bit until we see it. Get excited. Even get a little hyped. But don't set expectations. You will get burned more often than not if you set expectations on games you've never played. It sucks. That's just where we are. Don't set expectations. All right. What time is it? Oh, no. Did she just close? No, wait. She closes at 22? I didn't get the next quest, which is perfect because then we can just do it overnight. Oh, hi. I remember you. Hello, What can Jen. I get you today? I knew you had it in you. Great. Good work. All right. First, uh, let's do a quick All sell. All sterilized. Um... What do we want to sell? I guess we can sell some of this stuff. Uh, although, I don't know if I want to sell that. Oh, we can sell these. Uh, I can sell you. Oh, okay. Um, Just got to clear some room real quick. Oh, that's kind of cool. Don't need it, but kind of cool. Thanks for letting me take care of you. And be sure to tell your friends. Are fr are there any friends left in this world? Okay. Amazing. I hope you like your reward. Mm, yep. <laughs> More armor. Steel spear quality three. That might be worth it. Oh. You look like you could handle. You. Whoa, this is a dangerous one. Can I take multiple quests? Try not to get radiated. Oh, darn it! I should have taken a quest further away. Oh damn! For next time, sugar butts. I love sugar butts. Save till 10k for the stand. Oh, 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 to make me stand? Oh, don't don't bother. That's not active these days. <laughs> yeah, much better to pop your Kovatar. Buy some emotes and stuff. Yep. All right, let's head right over to here. We'll just go ahead and use um, our motorbike storage. If we needs it. Nice, Tingle Bell. Love it. You are armored up and ready to go. Fight them zombies. Go exploring and find your mountain home? I need to. I need to. But I don't think I'm going to do it here. You know, maybe we can do that at night, though. I don't think it gets too, too dark at night. So we, maybe we can drive around and uh, look for a potential vault opening in the evening. When we can't get any more missions, basically. Hey, dude. Hey, Ko. I just subscribed for the first time ever. I've been watching and lurking mostly on YouTube, but I wanted to show you my support. Thank you for all you do. As a married hard worker and father of two my life is incredibly busy and stressful and your streams always seem to cheer me up as I am not able to oftentimes play the games you play. Thank you for allowing me a bit of peace in my life. Dude, my absolute freaking pleasure. And uh, thank you for watching. That is super cool of you. I, I, I uniquely understand your journey currently. And uh, yeah, that's super cool of you, dude. Best of vibes to you. And uh, I look forward to entertaining you, hopefully, until you get to the point where you can game again, which will be here one day. <laughs> so thanks, man. Keep on keeping on. All right, let's go. We're going right in the center here. Mm -hmm. Boop. <laughs> Bright Donut Nexus, I will see you in three to four years. Good luck. Chat, I started with the history of Warhammer 40k today. Do you have any tips and things to look into? I'll see you in 2028. Or later, most likely. Whoa! Jerk. Okay. We good? We good. 
Back to digging. Diggy diggy hole. Uh, Mr. Tattoo's down boy. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm. Yeah, dude, the Warhammer 40k lore videos are insane. There's some amazing, amazing YouTube creators that, like, almost all they do is just make awesome videos on Warhammer lore. Um, I would highly suggest checking some of those out. They are wildly interesting. There are also some great TikTok channels that, like, just go over different characters in the Warhammer 40k universe and, like, why they're important and why they're weird or screen. Love that stuff. Speaking, speaking of people who are passionate about things, I would like to give a shout out to a specific TikTok creator for making me do something I never realized I would do. And that is before bed, flip through probably nine to 15 videos on the origin, history, and why they're important of superheroes in the Marvel Universe. His name is Mr. Superhero on TikTok. And I just happened to see one of his videos about some obscure superhero, like the dream something, some kind of weird alien dream thing. And I was like, oh, it's kind of weird. Let me see what this is. Cut to an hour later of me watching this dude going over like these obscure superheroes and all of their like history and how they connect in different comic books and how like this guy named Enigma, like, made four, six freaking clones and sent them off to become gods. And then they all became different gods, but he used this thing called the, the Moira engine to clone this girl. So he had different save points in history. So every time one of his clones was gonna become a god, he would hit the Moira engine and blow them up and absorb them. And then he absorbed all six of his clones and became this like uber god and, oh my God, dude, it was awesome. And I'm just sitting here being like, what the f is going on? Um. But no, it was really cool. Like, it was actually, like, yeah, it was actually pretty freaking interesting. It just goes, the reason I'm saying this is because it goes to show you, like, sometimes you find really good creators who are really passionate about what they want or, or what they like, and you don't even need to be interested in what they are. They're so interested in it that it's interesting to watch. And I love that stuff. I absolutely love that stuff. Like, that, that is so interesting to me. Um, I would rather watch something, I would rather watch someone be passionate about something I'm not interested in than watch someone unpassionately talking about something I am interested in. Is that Sir Superhero? It is, yeah, yeah. It's, I, think it's, I think his name is Sir Superhero. Yep, he's a long-haired dude, uh, and, he, and he basically makes like 10-minute videos on like all, like all the Marvel people. Yep. And yeah, if, if co-watching Marvel superhero TikToks was on your bingo card this year, you probably just won. It's my lord, that was not on mine. Mm -hmm. Alright, where are we here? Mm -hmm. Dude, we couldn't... <laughs> this ring just feels bad for me at this point. It's like, dude, it's right here! It's right here! Okay. My lord. Sir, I'm trying to dig at my obnoxious point here. Will you please give me some privacy? Wow. There we go. Okay. Shot him to the face! Okay, spear worked a little better. Uh, let's see. Right in the nuts! Give me the old dick twirls! My god, what is going on here? We good? I think we're good. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, we go. All right, we need... Go ahead and read that, and we'll pull that out. Now, unfortunately, it is 2211, which I am 90% certain means that we are not going to be turning in this quest right now, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and just dump some of this stuff in. Man, the storage on this is crazy nice. Yeah, I definitely need to use this more. Okay, so let's go here. And the reason we're going there is because we need to start actually opening up this map and seeing if there's an area that we want to build this vault. So we're going to kind of like, we're going to go up to the side of the screen area. I do still keep coming back to the fact that I want, I think we want to build our vault in the middle low tier area. Um, because that'll be the most centralized location. And as we move around the map, we'll be able to return to it easily. So I'm thinking somewhere, this, there's kind of like this valley. It's like, uh, in Kate, you can see the mountains here. So I'm wondering if we can find something along like here or maybe here. I'm looking for like a very vertical flat space that we can kind of go into. I don't even know if it exists. I don't know if this game can make those types of things with a procedural generation engine, but we'll see. We're gonna poke around. Am I playing solo? Yes. I am, I, I usually play these games solo. So I can go at my own pace. Salt packet. Totally relate to the thing about watching someone else being passionate about something. I'm currently hooked on a YouTube channel that analyzes vocals of rock slash metal songs, each around 30 minutes long. Well, that sounds cool. When, when you say analyze the vocals, do you mean like goes over like what it means in English and how it works or analyze like what they're actually saying? Because sometimes it just sounds like static. It can mean so many things when you're talking about metal. I'm not even sure. Um, yeah, so that's cool. It's very cool. The Charismatic Voice. Oh, is that the name of it? I've, I've never seen those videos. I'll have to check that out. I like that name, too. But no, no, like like real talk. Is, is, it, is it her identifying the lyrics that are being said? Or is it her, like, diving into it and analyzing what they mean? Just out of curiosity. She di oh, she dives into how they sing. Oh, cool. Like how they do the growling and stuff like that. Like how they sound, how they sound. Oh, like the techniques of it. Not the lyrics, the actual act of it. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. I would actually. Yeah, I will definitely check her out. <laughs> I listen to a lot of metal and rock, so um, that's cool. It's very cool. Hmm. I was just listening yesterday to, uh, oh Lord. Um, what was, what was the name of the new one? Now, of course I have it stuck in my, um, stuck in my head. It's Howard Jones' new band, um, or newer band. I want to say it's called Light the Fire, maybe? I was listening to a lot of their stuff. His voice is incredible, man. Oh my God. Woo! Great googly moogly. Mm -mm. Light the Torch. There we go. Love it. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Light the Torch. Some old KSE. Uh, Nine Shrines. Architects. Mm -hmm. been, on the, been on that kick lately. Electric Callboy. I love some of Electric Callboy. Some of Electric Callboy's songs are terrible. Like, they're just not for me. They're super poppy and I don't like them. But every so often, they're parts of Electric Callboy songs, which are some of the coolest parts of any songs ever. Um, so it's weird. Like, I don't, I'm not really into, like, the poppy metal that they do, but I really like some parts of some of their songs. Like, oh my god, dude. Like, there's a... The riding the choo-choo train, the part of that... That drop is amazing. Like, the techno train, like... <laughs> I love that so much. And then there's the other one. What's the other one? There's... there's That's one of theirs. The techno train. And then there's the other one. Where they're, like, in the backyard barbecue with the funny... The funny hats... Or the funny haircuts. And and oh my god, that 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 one is insane. We got the moves. Oh lord, dude. There there's a certain drop in that song that is like that rivals any that that's like top ten drops is in that song. Yep. Absolutely. That is that like I hear that every every so often I'll hear that sound bite like on TikTok or something. And I'm just like, oh, so 
<laughs> so good. Howard Jones did a cover of Simple Man? Really? Oh, I'll have to check that out. I, oh, I can, I can hear that in my head. Wow, I bet that's amazing. I'll definitely check that out. Yeah. Hmm. Sensor, if you haven't, kills, uh, KSC Signal Fire features Howard Jones, and it's so good to hear him on track with KSC again. That's awesome, dude. That's great. Yeah. Epic E. Yeah, Electric Callboy had to change their name. They, 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 went, they went by a different name years ago, but had to, uh, <laughs> had to change it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, this is like an entirely new whole ass town. Um, which could be good. I mean, we could come here and loot this area at some point, but let's see. Where do you want to go now? Let's kind of go up this way. What we're doing now, by the way, is we're, we're exploring our map, looking for our next base location. And, um, we're doing this right now because our main goal is to push the quests. We are, we are currently on like full bore questing to move through the different regions and, uh, and do that kind of stuff. But while we're doing this, I very much want to be at least starting to work on our big base, which I think is going to be a vault-style build. Um, I should be stopping this in these stores. Not a poppin' pills. I need to be stopping at... Um, the main things I need right now, I need robotics. I need... Uh, let's take a look. I think we got some skill points this way, too. All right, hold on. If I'm on this and not moving, does it actually spend the fuel? Like, if it's on? There we go. Okay. Um. Hmm. This may have some stuff. Take a look. That is a lot of toilettes. I don't feel so good, Mr. Chat. Okay. Uh, oh no, we're, we're gonna be playing Knock on the Coffin later. I have a thoughts video up, by the way of knock on the coffin lid. I had some people ask me what I think about it. Turns out it's freaking great. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that this afternoon. Von Roku said, oh no, gross. Wait, what? Did you, was, did you, did you say that because I said I was playing knock on the coffin lid this afternoon? <laughs> oh, 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 I get motion. Okay, oh, you're talking about the, the, the stuff on, yeah, that's terrible. I agree, the stuff on the screen is terrible. I need to stop getting drunk. <laughs> yes, agreed. There we go. Great. Uh, we've got Idris. In response to one of the previous donors, if you ever need help with marriage advice, please feel free to reach out. I no longer have any fights with my wife and am super well adjusted. Yeah, don't do that. Um, don't do that. Um, thank you as always, Ithris, for the $20 tip to the mod team. Don't, don't, don't do that. Do not do that. Thank you so much, uh, as always. I really do not do that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not. Let's go inside. Mm. <laughs> that dude is a legend. He has Ithris is quickly becoming a channel legend. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, can we break in through here? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I don't think we can get in. I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, 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 wait. Is this where it is? Like, where's the... Where's the loot spot in here? 
Hmm, we have definitely not found it yet. Every one of these areas usually has like a big spot. Looks like it could be in there. We need to find some keys. There's there's a key some keys on a door somewhere probably that we need to open. Maybe we can do it through the can we do it through the wall? That'd be kind of cool. No. Okay. What's the plan with the vault build? Uh, we, we talked about it a little bit yesterday, but I'm going to try to build into a mountain and leave a very open, exposed main entrance so the zombies don't tunnel in behind me. And we're going to experiment with like a, a cross kind of style layout and going to see what we can do with that. And I got some ideas I want to try, basically. We will see. Hey, wiring. That's good. We'll take it. Should I be breaking these down, you think? Mm, not really. I don't seem to add too much. Drink some of that delicious murky water. Ooh. Do I have any more murky water? Bad timing! Um. Oh, we got a break. Shoot. Okay, light attacks only for a minute. Oh, that cured it. Oh, cool. Okay. Hmm. Street lights, the top portion, vending machines, and gas pumps all give steel. Oh, here's a light. So we know this is probably the right way. Yep. Yeah, they like to use lights and stuff to tell us where to go. So that was perfect. And this is the room we're looking for. Delicious! Hey, Sorty, how you doing today, dude? Hello, hello. Ooh, look at this little hidden guy back here. Hmm. What's my favorite candy? I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite candy. Yeah. I don't have a favorite enough one to tell you immediately when you ask. I do I do really like a lot of different candies, but Super Par oh Lord, wait, did I do something again? Hershey's cookies and cream bars? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, my bike. Twix. Dude, okay, real talk. I like Twix so much that one of my old dogs was named Twix. So maybe maybe Twix would be it. I did name a dog after that candy bar when I was younger. So maybe, let's, go, let's go with Twix. Twix is pretty freaking good. Yeah. Big fan of Twix. <clears throat> Oh, Cadbury Cream Eggs. Cadbury Cream Eggs. Yep. Those are those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Yep. <laughs> those are pretty good. <laughs> now, these mountains are looking a little more interesting. Yeah, they, these are the kind of thing I was thinking about. Like we could potentially we could potentially go into these mountains. With a little vault situation. Hmm. Still gonna get everything out here. Please don't call your next pet Cadbury Cream Egg. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a rabbit just so I can name him Cadbury despite you. I've never wanted to get a rabbit more than right now. Oh my god. A rabbit named Cadbury would be adorbs. <laughs> oh my god or a chicken oh that'd be good too oh a chicken too bad all of ours got eaten uh -huh. not eaten mind you eaten yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. Do -do 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 -do. gave him ideas a little bit Coyotes? We don't know. 
We used to have like 30-ish chickens. Um, and we had them here at this house for like, God, since we've been here. And uh, then over the course of a week, our entire flock disappeared. So either coyote or probably multiple stray dogs or something moved into our area. Something moved into our area, which is normal. I mean, that's that's that happens when you have livestock that you don't keep in, in cages. So it could be foxes, could be raccoons. But whatever it is, it is it is a large thing because, like I said, we had we had many many chickens, and our neighbors have chickens too. And uh, whatever's doing this is, has moved into the region, and like double digit chickens are disappearing every night. So um, yeah, it's wild. No one's no one knows what it is yet. Probably death boss. Um, let's kind of go back to here. Here we go. Set up some trail cameras. Uh, we might, we might. I have, I have some trail cameras uh, from something I did a while ago, so we may, we may pop them out there and look around. Right now, what, what we're doing, one of the best things you can do in a situation like this. But let me, let me start at the other side. One of the worst things you can do in a situation like this is immediately get more chickens. Because what what happened? If I were to go out and get more chickens right now, then whatever is eating our chickens now will set up camp here. So unfortunately, what we have to do, and, and we've talked to all of our neighbors, and we're all doing the same thing, is um, when when our when our flocks eventually thin out, uh, we are not we're all going to not get chickens for a little bit, and uh, let whatever is dealing with this move on through. Yep. So that's the plan. And then we'll have chickens until the next thing moves in. But yeah, a couple of my neighbors are already building like big outdoor coops and stuff, but nah, you know, we, we free range, free range our little guys. Yeah. yeah, I think what we may do is next time we get chickens, I think we're gonna get some uh, some geese. We we had um, we had some geese at one of our old houses and, uh, and pecking ducks. And uh, geese, just like we have donkeys, to be with our horses, geese are phenomenal for guarding chickens. Um, just like a donkey will chase out things in a horse pasture, geese will, will chase away things that try to get to chickens. The only problem is geese are not immune to hawks, and we have a lot of hawks in the area. So um, it, it, it's, an, it's unfortunately not a, <laughs> not a guaranteed win. Um, there's also some big owls in our area too, which uh, is, an, is another issue. Yeah, we may, we may get some geese. We're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, we got a lot of crows nearby. So if any, uh, if, any e if any hawks try to nest, crows are notorious for chasing away uh, hawks that nest near them because uh, hawks will feed on their, their young. So, and, and, and it's not, excuse me, yeah, crows, crows are, um, crows is what I was talking about. Crows will chase hawks away. And, um, let's go check over here. Actually, you know what? We can go back to the trader now. We can go back to the trader. Let's do that. Yep, we're just going to go right back. But yeah, we'll see. How do you count hawks? You don't really. Um, we, we, you, you kind of, like, hawks you hear before you see. Yep, so, and um, it's that kind of situation. Get a lion? Oh. Okay. Joe's just explaining the circle of life? I mean, basically. It's one of the reasons we're not, like, you know, super like sad about it or anything. <laughs> it's, it, it, that's exactly what it is, it's life, yeah. Mm -hmm. All good. Lions will also keep the neighbors away. Smart, very true. Or just eat them. Kinda wanna loot that fort, but we'll come back. We'll come back. Pumping baby shark 24-7 keeps them away, too. Hmm. Gatekeeper, are you serious? The only natural-born predator for hawks is my windshield. I had one shatter my windshield while I was driving. Dude, that is so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. And the part that sucks about that is that that happens more than people think. And the reason why is because hawks will be chasing prey and they're super focus mode on it, and they tune out like everything else, 
and if they go in front or by a road, roads just slam, or, or, or cars just slam into them. It's so unfortunate, dude. I've seen videos of it happening. It sucks. It sucks. 